Santos Football Club e are once again the best in the Americas. The refined football of the new Libertadores champions has seduced football lovers from all over the world. The class of Ganso. The trickery of Neymar. The duo were nurtured at the King Pelé training centre. And our crew was allowed behind the scenes at the state-of-the-art facility on the coast. The atmosphere is really cool. There are days we are going to give massages and there's music playing and players dancing. They practice the celebrations you see on pitch in the locker rooms. Bonds are formed during the sessions. We are the physiotherapists and doctor's assistants, so our work with the athletes also has a psychological aspect. They have a lot of confidence in us and we know things that many people do not. As well as their everyday work, the backroom staff are passionate about their team. It's a great honor to work at Santos, the team I love. Zuka and Wagner are the kit men. Zuka has been with the club since 1963, the year that Santos last won the Libertadores with the likes of Pelé. It was all leather, even the soles, everything was leather. The weight of both of these cleats is equal to only half of the old ones. Four or five cleats a week. They use each one twice and get another pair. Who wouldn't like to be in Neymar's shoes? Wagner knows the feeling. We break their cleats in so they don't have problems like blisters and corns. So we work on them until they are 100%. Neymar's cleats began hurting him. I wear it, so it hurts my foot. I can work with flip-flops, he can't. It was exactly these boots that helped Neymar land the Libertadores last week. He likes happiness and audacity. It's his slogan. That's what is written on his shoe. But to contain the audacity of the fans, the security is well taken care of. We have to be on them 24 hours a day because of the fans. Switz all day in the hotel corridors. If you slack one bit, they will go into the room. The supporters are desperate to see two players in particular. Neymar is the one they want the most, and also Paulo Henrique Ganso. These women help deal with a crowd of hungry players. There's breakfast, lunch at 11, and an afternoon snack. Sandra is a club nutritionist who sometimes struggles to control the players' appetites. What they always want, and I fight with them about, is soft drinks. That's the eternal battle. If I let them, they will have ice cream morning, day and night. They love it. Whatever they're eating seems to have worked, as the boys from the villa have become famous for their stylish football. It's gratifying. I've been here for a long time and have had many emotions. I took care of the kids in the Robinho days, and they continue to appear. You see them leave, then come back, then see them get married, have a family, and continue our friendship. This is priceless. The new generation of talented players have a fantastic spirit, and this is how it brings success to the club. They are all rowdy, but in a healthy way. There has never been a stressful situation between them, and that is great. That is why this team is a champion, the group nature, the union. 
Wherever we go, you can be in a little city in Venezuela that there will be Neymar fans. It's amazing how everyone knows Neymar. Even the press in every country that we went to in the Libertadores, like Mexico, Venezuela, Paraguay and Chile. Neymar is a phenomenon. If there's already a mystic feeling to the Santos of Pelé, now history is being made with this team that has Neymar. That's it for this week. So from me, John Cartrell, and me, Bureau Brazil, make sure you join us next time on Foot Brazil.